Last time on Donkom Rompa V3 Killing Harmony. I said it over and over. Right is the hand you hold your chopsticks in. <laughs> oh, but going to hold chopsticks with <laughs> this hand. It's. It's. Gonta. Shuichi? Yup. Gonta is the only person who could have committed the murder. You get it now, right? That's the truth we were all reaching for. The thing you guys wanted so badly! A truth without any lies! Did you just practice, like, screaming in a mirror or something in your free time, Kokichi? Because you're really good at this. <laughs> you Iruma's killer is Gonta Goku Hara! Really? Did Gonta really do it? Jeez, is that really your reaction? It would have been fun if you went all crazy. But you forgot everything, so oh well. A culprit who can't remember their murder is pretty interesting. So, better than nothing. If Gonta remembered, his cover would have been blown so fast. Especially since he's an idiot. Hold on. I, I still haven't accepted this. This has got to be Kokichi's trap. It's not. I still believe in Gonta. He's not the kind of person who'd kill! Kaito... I already said this a million times, Kaito. You shouldn't use emotions to- You want proof? I've got your proof! <laughs> After Sumugi and Shuichi heard Kibo's voice in the mansion, they ran outside. And who did they see out there? They saw Gonta. Oh, Shuichi and Sumugi. Gonta, did you see Kyo around here anywhere? No, Gonta not see him. Unless he was lying. Gonta. Kokichi said it himself. When Yu's avatar crashed into the chapel wall, the culprit must have been on the roof. I see. If Gonta's the culprit, it'd be weird if he wasn't on the roof. It's possible that he fled the mansion after he heard the impact. You'd have to go through the entrance hall to get outside the mansion from the roof. Is that where Shuichi and Sumugi ran to when they heard the crashing sound? Then maybe he jumped off the roof. That's not possible. That rooftop was pretty high up. Normally, Gonta could have done it, but his avatar wasn't strong enough. How about that? Now you get it, right? If Gonta was the culprit, there's no way he could have been outside the mansion. Kaido, you're trying really hard to push this, and I understand why. But it's just, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all, buddy. Now you can't say Gonta's the culprit. Congrats, Gonta. What? Really? Oh wait, that's why the toilet paper was there, now that I think about it. Before, I exclaimed that they would use the toilet paper to get down from the roof, since it's a solid object. So we could have. Man, I'm getting all hyped for this trial. <laughs> it would have been so nice if that were the truth. If Kaido were right, and this horrible trial would just end. But... No, that's wrong. What? Just because Gonta was at the mansion, doesn't mean that he isn't the culprit. All the culprit needed was a way to get from the roof to outside the mansion. Huh? <laughs> Looks like Shuichi got it. I'll leave the rest to him. I did, Kokichi. Thank you. Kaito... I know how you feel. I know because we all feel it. But we have to face the truth. No matter how cool that truth may be, we need to face it to survive. Whose side are you on, Shuichi? Kaito, please. Aren't you my sidekick? Was that just a lie? Kaito. Fine then. I'll tear that sorry reasoning of yours apart and wake you up! I can't doubt my detective work now. I want all of us to survive, so I can't back down. I'm- why Kaido? I'll never accept this! <laughs> Don't you know Gonta at all? He's not the kind of guy who kills someone. Don't you know that about him by now? I'll never accept this! Don't you know Gonta at all? He's not the kind of guy who kills someone. Damn it! 
What the hell is this? Are we on the Why Death Star? Why would you believe Gonta? Why are you listening to Kokichi? Because he's smarter than you. Sidekick? Wake up, Juichi! Why won't you believe Gonta? Why are you listening to Kokichi? Aren't you my sidekick? Wake up, damn it! Uh oh, you, you can't breathe, Kaido. Believe? Kaido, put a helmet back on. Remember oh, it's Kokichi interesting. You're sending him back down to Earth. I get it. How Gonta's always tried to protect us. How could Gonta be the culprit? Still want to accuse him, huh? He's saying the truth this, the truth that. But there's a reason Gonta's not the culprit. Who do you want to believe? I want to believe you and Gonta, but it's not right. It's Remember not the truth, how Kaido. Always tried to protect us. How could Gonta be the culprit? Still want to accuse him, huh? Damn it! Uh, what's no wrong with your body, man? From the Toilet paper outside. Shit. Mansion discovered. Who do you want to believe? <laughs> okay, I got it now. There's no way to leave the mansion from the rooftop. Discovered toilet paper outside the mansion. Who do you want to believe? Wait, what? Discovered toilet paper outside the mansion. Uh. Fuck. What? <laughs> toilet paper discovered outside of the mansion? It's... Uh... <laughs> no, it's not. We just have to do his dumb rhythm mini game again. He's saying the truth this, the truth that, but... There's a reason Gota's not the cult, damn it! Okay. There's no way to leave the mansion. Toilet the paper discovered outside of a mansion. It ends here. Oh god. <laughs> Slight it. wording. Sorry, Goku, you couldn't protect the earth. The toilet paper we found outside the mansion. That's what the culprit used to get from the roof to the ground. The toilet paper? The same toilet paper that was used as the murder weapon. That's why we didn't find it anywhere else. Not at the scene of the crime, nor on Mew's body. It was outside the mansion. Hold on. If they use the toilet paper as a rope to get down from the roof, then they need to tie it to something. But there was nothing to tie it to. They tied it to the binoculars. I know, because I investigated the roof. You're stubborn, Kaito. You're still going on about this. Of course I am. I'm going to believe in Gota till the very end. No, there was something that the toilet paper could have been tied to. What? Yes, the place where the toilet paper was tied down. Zip boop. There. The binoculars on the rooftop. The toilet paper could have been tied there. <clears throat> However, I don't think the culprit actually tied it down there. They just hung it. <laughs> and then used the doubled up toilet paper to climb down. Looks like some shitty, like, Xbox Live Arcade game. <laughs> but in that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. Yep, that's correct, because I came up with that idea. Really? But I thought I told Gonta to put the toilet paper back in the bathroom. And that's why he's nervous when he came around the corner and saw us. Oh, I guess he ran into someone on the way and then threw it somewhere close by. Kaito's morale is shot, so this whole thing is done now. The matter does appear to be settled. Th that... it's... Oh, poor Samugi. So... it true. Going to really kill Mew. But I'm the one who came up with the plan! 
Anyway, just admit your crime, Gonta. Even though you don't remember, you still did it. But... Why did Gonta do such terrible thing? Wait, before you start crying, you gotta admit your crime for... Stop. I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is gonna get him to confess, it's me. <laughs> Gonta, I'm going to look back at the whole case one more time, okay? When you're convinced, you just let me know, all right? Let's end this together. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Okay. I don't want to close the argument. I love that face so much. Okay. Uh, what did Mew? So what do we have so far? Cell phone, Mew screaming, and bottle of poison. What did Mew bring from Sweetie's lab? Bottle of poison. Who was logged out against their will? I guess it was a cell phone then. Cell phone. Toilet paper that doesn't care was used to. That doesn't care, that doesn't tear, was used to kill her. And what else? Oh, we unlock more. So we unlock the lattice, Kaido, and map of the virtual world. They're all so cute in these diagrams, why do any of them have to die? Who was logged out against their will? Kaido. Lattice used like a sled. Map of the virtual world. Was posted in the entrance hall. Miu smuggles in a hammer. Whoops, I guess not there. Oh, there we go. Who threw the signboard into the river? It was Miu. Okay, so now I can go with them in order. Blue cord on right, red cord. Or blue cord on left, red cord on right. All right, no, blue cord on right, red cord on left. That's kind of backwards from usual. Oh, not to answer who was where. Suichi was in the kitchen. Samugi was in the dining hall. Kaido was on the roof. And Gonta was outside. And that just leaves the Binox, which he tied the toilet paper to. This is the truth of the case! The case began last night. After being convinced by Mew, we all logged in to the virtual world. To log in, you have to plug the memory and consciousness cords <laughs> into the device. So, we all plug those cords into our helmets and enter the virtual world. But the culprit had accidentally plugged their cords into the wrong ports. Because of this, a connection error occurred between the culprit's brain and their avatar. As a result, the culprit would forget everything that happened in the virtual world. It's possible that this had an effect on their avatar's personality as well. Because I... I can't believe that someone so kind could commit murder. Interesting that he mentions that. But we had no idea this error even happened. And so we all logged in one by one. <laughs> Me just walking around. Mew was the last to log in. She had modified the killing game simulator so she could accomplish a specific goal. After Mew confirmed we were all logged in, she took out the bottle of poison. Wow, of course she carried it there. 
and placed it on Kokichi's seat. This was done to make it look like Kokichi was killed by poison when we returned. Yes, the reason Mew modified the simulator and brought us to the virtual world was to kill Kokichi in the virtual world, but make it look like he had died in the real world. After we had all logged in, Mew explained the world to us. <laughs> They're also small. The phone to lock out. Objects are unbreakable. Your avatars use all five senses. She also explained the map of the virtual world in the mansion's entrance hall. But her explanation was intentionally false. She wanted us to misunderstand the world. However, one of us was able to see through her scheme. The very person Mew was trying to kill, Kokichi. Kokichi was going to use Mew's plan against her and plotted her murder. But Kokichi wouldn't do it himself. He used a patsy to be the culprit in this case. He looks so evil. Kokichi was tight-lipped about the motive, so I don't know why the culprit agreed. But it seems as though right after logging in, when Kokichi and the culprit went outside, they were already working together to execute the murder. Eventually, we met up with Kokichi and crossed the river to the chapel. I am now you your lord and savior, me you Christ. Some secret of the outside Bow to world. me in my gigantic jugs. <laughs> she looks so I mad and edgy. <laughs> Gota, Tsumugi, and I investigated the mansion, while Maki, Himiko, Kibo, and Mew investigated the chapel. Splitting us up was also part of Mew's plan. At the chapel. Mew told Maki that she was going to look around outside. She looks like a completely different character in there. It looks like they're preparing for Christmas or something. <laughs> like Maki's like, so what's the point of hanging all this stuff on the Christmas tree? I don't really understand. You could just like burn it, be the same thing. <laughs> she chased after our group while we were heading toward the mansion. Zoom. Once she made sure we were across, she dropped the bridge into the river. This was to trick us into thinking that the river separated the mansion and chapel. At the time, we thought nothing of it. It was just another one of Mew's pranks. That's why we continued with the original plan to find the secret of the outside world. We went to the mansion and split up to look for clues. Kokichi searched the salon. Kaito searched the roof. Tsumugi searched the dining room. I searched the kitchen. I love how he purposely draws them, like, so he's like, Oh man, I'm so cool, look at me. <laughs> and finally, the culprit searched outside the mansion. <laughs> Around that time, Mew was headed for the wall that was on the side of the chapel. She passed through the wall and headed for the mansion to kill Kokichi. You see, the wall was a special wall that Mew had added herself. This wall was programmed so that only objects could pass through. I realize she's the ultimate inventor, but this doesn't really seem to be... Something I don't really get is, like, this doesn't really seem to be quite in line with her talent. I think that she'd be more akin to making things in the real world, as opposed to something like this, where it'd be like the ultimate programmer or hacker would do. And Mew had changed her avatar settings from human to object. That was the hidden route she prepared for herself. She set up a wall that only she could pass through. Mew headed toward the mansion, 
but she was seen by Tsumugi on the way. When she entered the mansion, she pulled out her cell phone. She didn't tell us that there was another way to log out. Then, she spoke a name into the phone, which forced that person to log out. It was Kaito who was on the roof at the time. Looks like he's being electrocuted. The same roof where Kokichi and Mew were going to meet. By having Kaito search the roof, and then forcing him to log out, she was making him look the most suspicious. But her plan didn't go smoothly. What's that over there? It's probably like chocolate or something. Kokichi was waiting on the roof with a culprit and the toilet paper used to kill Mew. While Mew was distracted by Kokichi, the culprit snuck up from behind. And used the toilet paper from the mansion's bathroom to strangle Mew. This was only possible because objects in the virtual world are unbreakable. The most adorable murder of all time. Mew's avatar was strangled to death, and the shock killed Mew in the real world. After the murder, Kokichi left the cleanup to the culprit and left the roof. He probably returned to the salon as soon as he could to avoid drawing suspicion. The culprit then took the lattice from the storage room and placed Mew's body on top along with the hammer and the cell phone. The culprit heaved the lattice over the railing and forcefully slid it down the roof slope. With a body on top of it, the lattice became a makeshift sled and flew off the roof. It went through the wall that only objects can pass through before crashing into the chapel. That was the crashing sound that Kibo heard in the chapel and we heard in the mansion. Mew's wall hid the fact that the mansion and chapel were actually right next to each other. That's why Tsumugi and I were able to hear the crash from the mansion. Whoever drew this, please make As a full final step. The culprit had to then get off the roof. Please make like a full jokey DRV3 comic and make it like a thousand chapters, please. I just want to see like adventures of mini Danganronpa characters. <laughs> because we were at the mansion, they couldn't take the stairs or they'd be seen. So they used the toilet paper again to escape from the rooftop. They hung the toilet paper from the binoculars on the roof and used it like a rope to climb down. Once the culprit was safely on the ground, they pulled at the toilet paper to retrieve it. They would have returned it to the bathroom, but they ran into us as we were leaving the mansion. In a panic, the culprit tossed the toilet paper somewhere nearby. Without that one little mistake, we might never have solved this case because the culprit doesn't remember. This is the truth you've forgotten, Gonta Gokuhara, the ultimate entomologist. Is he just holding that like little bag full of bugs or whatever? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Yeah, I kind of saw this coming in the end, but never know what's going to happen when. Gonta, this is the truth we've reached. I wonder just why. Why for both of them? S sorry. Gonta not really understand. As Gonta not smart boy. 
But if everyone agree, then everyone probably right. Gonta, trust everyone. Oh. Gonta. But why? Going to kill Mew. Forget everything. Going to even think he not do anything bad. And then going to try to blame someone else and make everyone suffer. W why? Why go to do such terrible thing? Oh, he never wants to do anything bad ever. Except for maybe the reason he killed me, I guess. Gonta, it's not your fault. It's Kokichi's fault. He must have tricked Gonta. Huh? I totally didn't trick him. Before we go into that, it's voting time. We should finish up the class trial first. But is this the right answer? We're not being fooled by Kokichi? For once, I wish that we were. Huh? Wrapping things up already? What do you mean already? It's been like two hours. Hmm. What a buzzkill of an ending. It lacks the rush of previous voting times. Well, after so many killing games, I guess it was bound to happen eventually. It's just as well. This killing game is a bad influence on the baby. Oh my, Monotaro. You're even starting to look like a father. I hate this family so much. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get my act together for the baby. He goes silent every time he hears about it. together and let's begin! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face-off! It's voting time! All right. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. One vote against Kokichi. I know who that was. Definitely Kaido, wasn't it? Chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Now, I hope we can figure out why, or at least get to see something at the end of all of this. Apparently there were two back route solutions I missed. I can never get any of them. Like, I, I just never see the, or hear the triggers correctly for them. Which is a bummer, but whatever. They're probably really minor things anyways. Well, look at that. You voted correctly. Congratulations, you guys. Let me hear your Give yourself a hand voices. and let me hear your joyful voices. <laughs> oh, poor Samuki. Let me hear your joyful voices. <laughs> why does he have just that line recorded? That's kind of weird. Damn. Damn it, why? <laughs> Jeez, they're just all moping around. Maybe they should be happy for themselves. <laughs> I know I'm super happy. Hey, what should we name the kid? Mm -hmm. Good question. We should prepare six names. Yeah. What? So we're having six toplets? I'm so happy I might go crazy. And thing. Hey, Kokichi. <laughs> Wait, why is he talking to Kokichi? You said this would liven things up. What gives, huh? Here. You said you were going to liven up the killing game in the class trial. And you said I'd put the motive, the secret of the outside world, into the killing into the killing game si simulator. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a lie. Oh. oh, so it was just a lie. What was that? He laughed it off. Hey. Are you satisfied, Kokichi? Oh, no, that's uh, Suichi talking. Sorry, Kokichi. I just like to sound like you sometimes. Are you satisfied, Kokichi? I want you to tell us. What is the outside world? What is the motive you gave Gonta? Um... I plan to explain all that, but it's more like, how do I say it? 
You guys are just gonna assume it's a lie if you hear it from my cute lips. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, then let's have Gonta explain. Huh? Go huh, Gonta. Please stop! <laughs> Gonta doesn't remember anything. How can you expect him to Alright! Then we should all go back into the killing game huh? simulator. What? Because why don't we ask Gonta in the virtual world? But 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 going back to the virtual world is <laughs> Woohoo, there's a much easier way than that pain in the ass method. <laughs> what? Gonta's memories didn't transfer over. So, they're still in the virtual world as data. I can combine Gonta's consciousness from his last login with that leftover memory data. <laughs> Ta da! Alter Ego oh. Gonta is now. Complete. They did it. They did the same thing. So for those of you who don't know, there was a character who died in Danganronpa 1 that got an alter ego made after her, and this is kind of a throwback to that. Alter ego? Basically, it's a separate Gonta that only exists in virtual space. If we listen to what he says, we should be able to find out what happened in that world. Huh? What this? What happening? <laughs> Huh? Is this Gonta? Huh? Is that Gonta? <laughs> What's that mean? Well, what sort of phenomenon is this? What did you do? Hey, um... Relax, Hibiko. It's not magic and it's not a trick. Alter Ego Gonta is just a computer simulation. It's just imitating Gonta th Gonta's thought patterns. It's actually different from the real Gonta. Um... G Gonta not understand. Who is this Alter Ego person? <laughs> I would be really confused if I were him, too. Now then... See, it's even stupid like the real Gonta. You can hardly tell the difference. Plus, he's got Gonta's memories of the virtual world, so he should remember what happened. Please. Th then other Gonta, tell Gonta. Why? Why? Why did Gonta kill Miu? Huh? Kill Miu? Why does other Gonta know about? Oh, man. Unfortunately, our plan failed. You can tell them the truth now. Oh. Gonta. Then Gonta no could save everyone? Huh? Save everyone. Gonta don't know. Hey, answer Gonta. Why did you kill Miu? Wrong. Gonta just want to save everyone. He wanted to save everyone. What does that mean? That's. Gonta, what do you mean? Gonta. Gonta think for a long time. How can Gonta be useful for everyone? Gonta not smart enough to help with trials. Gonta strong, but no can fight Exosols. Um. Gonta feel frustrated because Gonta no could do anything. <laughs> Gonta understand how this Gonta feels. Yeah. Technically, they are the same person. But... So that's why Gonta think he have to do it for everyone's sake. Gonta think he gotta do it because everyone else not want to. Gonta. So Gonta kill Miu. What? What do you mean by that? I, I don't get that at all. Oof. Jeez, Gonta's bad at explaining as always. I guess I'll have to help. Um... So if you remember what happened at that time... No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening. Yoink, I'll take that card key then. Kokichi used his lith body to his advantage and he took the card key from Monokuma. Huh? The card key? So you used it? Yeah. After working tirelessly, I finally found the door for the card key. After opening it, I saw the outside world. What? The outside world? What? That was Monokuma's motive? But why would you... Why would seeing the outside world be a motive? Hmm. I'll tell you guys in a second, but that's what... That was when I found out about Miu's plan. <laughs> and it hit me. If I combine the two, then I'd be able to save everyone. Please wait. Save everyone? What do you mean? Hey, hey. Hey, now, you gotta listen to everything I say first. Um... Anyway, that's when I made a deal with Monokuma. If I liven up the killing game, <laughs> then you would have to let me use the outside world as a motive again. Huh? Again? In other words... Let me chime in. The motive key card that Kokichi nabbed was the right was the right to view the outside world. Even though he saw the outside world, he didn't try to use it for the killing game. That disappointed me, but then Kokichi suggested that we reuse the motive. Yeah, yeah. He said that we should bring back the right to view the outside world one more time. And then I decided to run with that idea. So I loaded the flashback light with memories of the outside world and put it in the simulation. Huh? Memories of the outside world in the flashback light? What? The secret of the outside world and the virtual world was about the flashback light. Oh, oh my god, that's confusing. You know. And if it was the flashback light, it would mean that the secret of the outside world is part of our forgotten memories. Huh? What are you saying? Wait. Why would you do anything about the outside world? Uh, wait, why would anything about the outside world be a motive in the first place? Incomprehensible. What's going on here? Huh? You can't remember? Okay, fine. Get it? 
Let's talk about the motive later. We have to finish up this case first. Um... Monokuma hid the flashback light in the simulator, but I knew where it was hidden. And I showed it to Gonta in the virtual world. Hey! Hey, you even know where it is? Where it was hidden? That's not fair. To tell you the truth. Oh, I just placed it. I never actually said I hid it. Too bad. If anyone asked, I would have gladly told you where it was. <laughs> it's a little late for that. Always messing around. So Gonta was exposed to the flashback light? Um. Yeah, when Gonta when Kokichi and Gonta leave together. But Gonta can watch Kokichi so he not do anything weird. Gonta, you're so sweet, but I knew you'd say that. Even without your ridiculous physical strength, as long as you're selfless and courageous. You'd make a terrific bodyguard. Bodyguard? With you by my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Okay, then, let's go. Oh, wait, Kokichi! It okay, leave it to Gonta. Gonta, keep eye on Kokichi. Could it be? Was Kokichi trying to lure Gonta by himself? Maybe. The only person I entrusted with the secret outside world was Gonta. Gonta. After that, Gonta got taken to forest near mansion. Is this flashback light? It looks like it. Maybe the secret of the outside world is hidden in it. We gotta tell everyone. Wait. Are you sure you want to believe a liar like me so easily? Huh? This might be a trap, you know. Shouldn't you check if I'm lying first? You want to protect everyone, right? This is the perfect time to do it. Pr protect everyone. How this happened? And they're going to remember secret of outside world. But that just confused Gonta more about what to do. <sighs> what can Gonta do to save everyone? Gonta no could think of anything. <laughs> so I told him. If he wants to save everyone, he should just put everyone out of their misery. In other words, a mercy kill. What did you say? What? No way. Was Gonta tricked? Wrong. No, you were not tricked. Because when Gonta remembers Secret of Outside World, Gonta <sighs> think it would be easier to die. Huh? What? Um. Remember what everyone said ab at the beginning? That this academy is hell? <sighs> Gonta, agr Gonta agree. The academy that forced students to be part of Killing Game is hell. So everyone think they want to escape this place, right? But if it's still hell outside, what do we do? Huh? What do you mean, Gonta? <sighs> Inside is hell, outside is hell. What what Gonta and friends live for? How this happen? And everyone who died, what did they die for? It's hell outside and hell inside. What? And then Kokichi, tell me. Best way to save everyone from hell is to put them out of their misery while they still not know. And only one who could do such dirty work is Gonta. Yeah. That's right, the only way you can save everyone is to free them from this hell. Gonta took on the dirty work for us. If he had survived the class trial, he would have lived in this hell alone. You get it? Gonta took on that role for us. Shouldn't we appreciate him more? Hold on! Wait a minute, I still don't get what's happening. Um... What outside world are you talking about? It's hell out there? What do you mean? What did Kokichi and Gonta see? What did we forget? Hey! Hurry up and tell us or else we won't be able to understand what? it. Gonta will push you to do such a thing! Please. Answer, Gonta. Sorry. Sorry, Gonta no can tell you. <laughs> why? Can't tell us why. <sighs> but because if Gonta tell you, then everyone everyone will end up like Gonta. Everyone despair. Oh, there's that huh? word. Despair? I, I know. Wait, have I seen that sprite of him before? I know it. The despair that makes you want to die. The despair that makes you want to put everyone out of their misery. Did you, th did you think the kind Gonta would tell you about such despair from his own mouth? But... But now we don't know. Uh, wait, but now we don't know any more than when, where, where, when we started. Jeez, I'm having such a hard time now. Now you know how Gonta and I formed the Killing Game Busters, right? Then can't you accept everything about this case? You can imagine the rest, right? I used Miu's plan and turned it against her. I hid Gonta away from sight where Miu and I were supposed to meet. Huh? Kaido's not here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh man, I'm honored that you asked me to meet up with you. Miu, is this a booty call? Or are you here to kill me? Just so you figured it out, but there's nothing you can do. You can't resist me, I'm, I'm sure of it, when I programmed your settings. Uh-oh, guess I'm in trouble now. I I'm sorry, but you should just give up. This is my only chance. I have no choice but to do this. My inventions will change the world. They'll make the world a better place. It's my duty as a genius inventor, so I can't die here. Rare. So sorry, Gonta, so sorry. 
Don't be sorry, Gonta. She's trying to kill me, too. She said it was for the world or whatever, but that was just a poor excuse. We're doing this to stop the vicious cycle of misery, so you don't need to apologize. But, but, but... Uh, uh, Gonta, sorry. Gonta, so sorry, Miu. I already said you don't need to apologize. We have to do this for everyone's sake. It can't, it can't be. be. Gonta would never... By the way. You should know that it was Gonta's idea to slide the body to the chapel wall. Huh? What? Gonta's idea? I couldn't come up with that Gonta. shit. Before Gonta went to roof, he happened to see me walk through wall. Gonta tell Kokichi and he think of everything else. But... Gonta gave me that chance. I like to think we make a pretty good team. Stop it! Good, what's good about that? You're the worst. Um... That's whole story. That's everything that happened. Well... So in the end, you don't plan to tell us the secret of the outside world. Sorry! Sorry, Gonta no can tell you that. Always messing around. Well, I mean, hearing that story, it sounds like you were tricked by Kokichi. How can this be? But Gonta did kill Miyu. Gonta really did it. Sorry! Sorry, everyone. Gonta is so sorry. <laughs> Gonta. <-Gonta. laughs> but Gonta's plan to save everyone fail. Gonta not save anyone. Gonta just make everyone suffer more. Gonta, idiot. Gonta is so stupid, so stupid. How could he call himself gentleman? <laughs> oh, man. Samugi's just... Everyone, please forgive him. I can't really tell if Kokichi's being sincere or not. Gonta tried to save us all from despair by taking the sin of killing us. But you reached the truth and Gonta's plan failed. All of you could have been saved if you died without knowing anything. Huh? So you're saying it was wrong to fight for the truth? Yeah. Yes, it was. At least Gonta and I think so. You should have all died ignorant. Gonta even killed Miu for that sake, you know? Don't screw around! Enough your shit, you made him kill her. Please stop! No, Gonta is bad. Cause Gonta kills someone, Gonta is murderer, it's true. <sighs> yes, Gonta make everyone suffer, that is true. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Gonta is sorry, he fail everyone- This conversation is so confusing. <laughs> Gonta is sorry for being stupid, Gonta is sorry for- He make everyone suffer, Gonta is so sorry. <laughs> we, we get it, you don't need to apologize anymore. You're probably all thinking that I should have taken on the dirty work and not Gonta, right? Everyone hates me, so the role of villain is perfect for me. I know that! Yeah, I know already. It should have been my responsibility. But I realized Mia was targeting me, I thought to myself. She just already have a way to prevent me from fighting back in the virtual world. I suppose. And in fact, you were right. She set it up so she could paralyze you with just a touch. So am I! That's why I asked Gonta. I would have done it myself if I could. That's enough! Okay, but you don't need to push everything onto Gonta to- Please stop! Stop it, okay. <sighs> Everyone, please don't blame Kokichi anymore. Please. <sighs> Gonta, you! <laughs> how, how nice can you be, Gonta? You really are stupid sometimes. <laughs> You're right. Someone as stupid as Gonta could never be a gentleman. Hey, hey! Hey, so are we done yet? Huh? What? And another thing. You guys are starting to talk in circles. Let's just move on to the exciting stuff. <laughs> the secretly anticipated punishment time! So am I! Wait, if you're gonna punish him, then punish me too. Huh? Kokichi? I know that! I'm prepared for it. If you're gonna execute Gonta, then I... <laughs> It's okay, Kokichi. Please let Gonta sacrifice himself for everyone's sake. That's all Gonta can do anymore. But... Just promise Gonta that everyone forgive each other and be friends, okay? <sighs> he sounds like he's actually, like, really upset about this. Alright, I promise. Okay! Alright, it's time to punish the ultimate entomologist. Go, go, Gonta Gokuhara! Mm. Oh man, I bet his punishments get out of a lot of gross, nasty bugs. <laughs> uh, ah. That's right, you don't like nasty stuff. No, it's not like that. It's coming. Yeah. What? Already? The contraptions are speed. Oh god, they're speeding up any minute now. Hi. Quick, hold my hand. Now, I prepared a special punishment him. for him. Gota! Wait, I, I don't want this. Please don't go, Gota. No. Don't cry, Kokichi. Gonta is okay. <sighs> yeah, Gonta not cry. Gonta really not scared. But, but. How can this be? Gonta upset. Gonta upset. He no could protect everyone. <sighs> Gota, you, you can't cry either. It's punishment Wow, time! he's losing it about this, even though he... Is he sincere about this entire plan? Sorry, everyone. Gonta, love you all. Gonta, idiot! Gonta, so sorry for being stupid. Oh, I don't want to... God damn it. Why do I like this game? What's wrong with me? Oh, 
Oh, he's gonna kill the alter ego one too? Wait. Oh, I see now. Wild West insecticide. I don't even want to... Is he just shooting a bunch of mechanical bees? Could those be what Jonto was seeing by any chance? What is happening on screen right now? Oh god! What? <laughs> what? What is that? My main question for this is... Is this impossibly sized bug going to be glossed over by the rest of us, or...? Poor Gonta, though. He didn't deserve any of that. Ooh, surprise, what a twist, huh? E even I didn't see that coming. All my little cubs have been destroyed. Dang it! Oh, I'm so sad all that cuteness gone to waste. I'm so happy they're gone, actually. Why? What are you talking about? You're the one responsible for this. Why would you do such a thing to your own children? Because lately they've been acting all buddy-buddy and neglecting me. God, I'm never going to get the hang of this whole parenting thing. But how? Th that's why. Got a minute? Doesn't matter now. We don't have time to give him attention. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna walk away quietly and go mourn my dead kids later. <laughs> there's only six of us left now. No, there's seven. Because Kokichi. <laughs> oh. Himiko. Damn it. Damn it, why did it turn out like this? Got a minute? Hey, Kokichi, why don't you tell us now? What is the secret of the outside world? If we don't know, then we won't be able to understand it or accept it. I can't accept it either, Kokichi. What is the secret of the outside world? What kind of secret world would push Gonta that far? Y Kokichi, you? if you really cared for Gonta, explain yourself to everyone and... I don't want to. Huh? You what? I don't want to, stupid head. Oh, uh, what's up now? Kokichi. <laughs> oh, man. Did you fall for all that fake crying? That was not fake. I am 100% sure that was real. You're so dumb! I would never cry for Gonta! F what? For fake crying? Because? If I said the actual truth back there, Gonta would have been real mad. So that would have interfered with the game, so I simply lied to calm him down. <laughs> See, as long as you lie for a good purpose, right? What? What? Hey! What do you mean, what really happened? What? Did, why did you make him do that? Obviously, so it wouldn't be boring. Huh? What, what are you... Which means... I gave Gona an incentive because I thought it'd liven up the game. Come on, think about it. If I actually wanted to save everyone like what Gonta did... You really don't get it. I, would, I wouldn't have betrayed... Uh, I wouldn't have betrayed Gonta. You should have realized that. Hey! Th then why did Gonta... <laughs> <laughs> oh Who my god. about that idiot? I want to enjoy this game filled with suspicion and betrayal from the bottom of my heart. Something is, like, wrong with the proportions of his eyes and face. Kokichi gave us one of his creepy smiles. When I, fi when I saw it, I finally saw Kokichi for what he really is. Malice. His entire body, nothing but raw, unfettered malice. I am the supreme leader of evil, so it's obvious my personality would be twisted. The more you suffer, the more I enjoy it. There are people in this world who spread grief and misery for no reason than the thrill of it. And I'm one of those people. Nothing pleases me more than inflicting pain on others! You? So, seriously, who the hell do you think you are? Then... So for your own entertainment, you sacrifice Miu and Gonta? You're so dumb. What's so bad about that? You kill people for money, right, Maki Roll? You bastard. Someone like you has no right to call me Maki Roll. Do you want to die? Do you want to die? That's, a, that's actually <laughs> great. <laughs> you look so much better with a scowl on your face, Maki Roll. But hey, you guys just want 
ju are just way too trusting. If only you had suspected me more, then... <laughs> me and Goto would have died such meaningless deaths. Don't screw around! M meaningless deaths? Kaido screamed up and sprinted to Kokichi like a bullet. Wham. A dull thud sounded through our skulls. Oops. Sorry. I tried to dodge you, but I punched you instead. Oh. Wow, he let himself get hit the first time, huh? Kaito! You! By the way, Kaito, is it just me? Or are you way slower? <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. Kaito is hiding something from us, too. Kaito! Whoa, she's like yelling about it. Kaito, are you okay? Kaito kept, uh, kept coming at him. Maki and... And Maki glared at Kokichi with piercing Bye. eyes. For someone who claims to be bad at fighting, you're pretty agile just now. <laughs> <laughs> you believe really a lie like that? You bastard. Oh my god! You really want to die, don't you? Let's have more fun. Oh, did I finally provoke you enough? Is it because of Kaido? Maki. No, Maki. <laughs> what am I thinking? Maki wouldn't lose her cool for a guy like Kaido. He's way too pathetic. He's all bark and no bite. Let's face it, the ultimate astronaut is just a trainee anyway. Kokishi never got to finish his provocation. No one cared what he had to say anymore. They all rushed to Kaido's <laughs> side. Kaido, are you hurt? Are you all right? Can you stand? Do you need to lean on my shoulder? Sorry. So sorry, I'll use my MPs at zero, so I can't use any recovery magic. Oh. Hey, why are you all so worried about this pathetic guy? That's wrong. Pathetic. Look at yourself, Kokichi. Mm -hmm. What? No. Kaido is always has us. Wait, always has us by his side. See, but no one wants to be around you. You're alone, Kokichi, and you always will be. <laughs> You're talking about making friends. Friends will make this game more inter- Oh, man. Jeez, boring. I'm no longer interested. I don't care anymore, but I will tell you this. <laughs> the one who will win this game is me, but- our, our, I remember, uh, TV- TV Rontaro said that only two people can win. Kokichi spat out those words and then left the room. Ugh. Kaito! Kaito, are you okay? Uh, huh? Hey, Kaito. Hey! You don't look well. It seemed like he did. It didn't seem like he punched you that hard, but. What? Did you hit your head or something? Uh, I'm okay. It's fine. Okay? Don't push yourself. You should lie down and. Uh, I, I said I'm fine. Kaito tried to get up, but. Kaito doubled over. His knees gave out and he collapsed hard. <laughs> What? K Kaito? Blood? Why? What's the matter, Kaito? Come on. Don't freak out over this. It's nothing. My cold just got worse is all. I didn't know that coughing up blood was a cold symptom. You're a robot, and you don't know that? I'm saying it's fine. Just chill. I just coughed too much and cut my throat or something. I don't know. As he spoke, he somehow got to his feet. That's... yeah, that's it. I just need a drink of water. Sorry, but I'm gonna head back to my Kaito. room. Okay, I'll go with... Shut up! Don't follow me! Huh? What? I can walk on my own. I don't need your help, Suichi. Kaido staggered off. Well... I'll go with him. It would be bad if he collapsed on the way. Um, right, we'll leave it to you then. Mm. Don't worry about it, Suichi. Kaido was just stressed out is all. That's not a symptom of stress, Himiko. Why? Why did it end up like this? I thought... I thought I could help. I just wanted us all to live. And I wanted it so damn bad, I kept fighting for it. And this is what I get? By trying to survive, we're just playing the stupid game. Just like Kokichi. Damn it! That was. <laughs> oh. Something else? It's almost time. Yeah, it's almost time. This should be enough. What is he. I'll end it. Okay! Now is the time I'll end this killing game. Okay, Satan, it's fine. Uh... 
Did no one realize this? Was that supposed to be the big stinger? But I already saw that. Live and let the languid world live? Oh, man. Oh, boy. Empty insect cage. Like, the fact there's still two chapters left scares me a lot. It means that there is possibly one more murder chapter, or possibly two more. And I bet multiple people are going to have to die to make this work. So, uh... Oh, boy. <laughs> I know I've been relatively silent and, like, less... I'm actually just gonna stop this here, but <laughs> I know I've been like relatively jokey for this entire session and or sorry, how do I say this? I haven't been relatively jokey and I've been pretty quiet this session of recording. And just because I don't have a lot to say, honestly. A lot of it's just me watching this whole thing go on and I don't have much to say. I really don't. Uh, unlike the normal like school times when we're hanging out or the investigation scenes. It's just these scenes is all voice acted, so all I can do is kind of sit here and watch and make some slight comments. Anyways, if you guys are crazy like me and you somehow enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. See you on the next section of the, uh, the killing game. Have fun.